G'day guys, VK2PCT. Uh, we're here, uh, trying to get the buddy pole to work on 80 meters, but we're gonna do it a little bit different. I've got an 8 inch bolt, a mirror mount bracket, a heavy duty spring mounted onto a SO239 base, and I've attached four 6 meter uh, ground counterpoise wires. Uh, I left the other bundle at home. Um, the S, the um, buddy pole baller that comes with it, we're going to bypass that. We're going to take the uh, low bed 80 meter coil and attach that directly on top of the heavy duty spring and see how we go. Hey, uh, all right guys, this is what we've got set up and uh, we seem to be having a win. We've got uh, four six meter uh, counterpoises out on the ground. Uh, we probably need to put a few more, but uh, I left the, the others uh, back home. We've got the eight inch uh, bolt as a, as a stake driven into the ground. We've got some LL240. Uh, a heavy duty coil with an SO239 base, uh, 22 inch vibrating arm to the uh, low bed 80 meter coil, tapped off about 12 up from the bottom. Three more radi uh, vibrating arms at 22 inches each and uh, a tactical nine foot or just over nine foot aluminium shot cord uh, whip. 15 meters of uh, LL240 uh, coax um, into the Rig Expert uh, AAA 1400. And as you can see, uh, the SWR speaks for itself uh, 3.6 foot, 1.7. And as you can see, uh, as we come down, uh, that's around the best we see there, and about 3.5 uh, approximately, about 1.12 to 1. So it looks like finally. Uh, uh, getting a win. Uh, nothing like Buddy Pile recommends setting up their 80 meter coil. Nowhere near it. We've done away with their ballon. We didn't use the ballon. Uh, we just put some uh, uh, bits together that I had laying around here and we thought we'd uh, give it a try. Got a pretty good spread on the SWR. A few more counterpoises. Uh, be interesting to see how we go. Uh, we managed to tap into uh, VK3 uh, JTM, I think it was, the SDR in Ararat, and we were able to record that, and uh, we were able to hit that about uh, 17.45 this afternoon on 10 watts.